this shows the license fees for residents and non-residents. Some of the different programs. Different permit fees. Here's a dedicated hunter permit fee for residents, $195. For non-residents, $1,047. It's a pretty expensive program. And that does not include your hours that you've got to put in for your service project. And then all your once in a lifetime permit fees, which they're pretty steep. But most people are pretty happy to pay those fees if they're lucky enough to draw out the hunt. Some of these laws, you've got to be 12 years old to hunt in Utah. Talks about the deadline. If you're 12 years old before your hunt starts, then you can hunt that year. As long as you've got your past your hunter's education, have your hunter's education card. Everyone, whether you're a resident of Utah or not, has to have some kind of a hunter's education course unless you were born before 1965. I guess they figure the old timers handled firearms more and were more safe than we are nowadays. I don't know, but that's the deadline. Talks about residency. And then here's the details about applying as a group. So anyway, that just kind of goes over some of the things that can be found in the guidebook. It's a pretty valuable resource. You can, you can go to that every year and, and review that before you apply. Make sure that you're, you comply with all the rules and regulations and you understand what they are. It tells you the season dates, the boundaries of the different hunting units. And um, I'm going to show you one more valuable tool here that will help you make a decision. If you go up here in the, in the search box, I'm going to put in, type in drawing odds and do a search. That's going to bring up the big game statistics and drawing odds. You can go down through the list for each and every one of these hunts. For instance, let's look at the general season deer preference points, bonus points and drawing odds report. Okay, this is going to show us some statistics about the state. This particular hunt Nine hundred and eighty six total el eligible applicants. Nine hundred and fifty nine drew. Basically a one in one odds. Tells you all the odds for however many preference points are, that you have. And for that particular unit. That way you can pretty much determine what how many points it's going to take to draw the unit or if you can draw the unit the first year. That will help you to, to decide which order you want to um, check for your, your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth choices. Let's go back to the, let's look at one of these, uh, let's look at the Desert Bighorn. Um, uh, just like with the other, with the deer hunting, or any of the others, it will tell you the unit number, I mean the hunt number, the physical area, and the drawing odds. Um, as you look through these, you're going to see that some of these do not even offer a non-resident the opportunity to draw on these smaller hunt numbers. So you need to go through and, and determine which ones that you can apply for. Anyway, this is the big game statistic and drawing odds. It's a very valuable tool to help you 
determine your odds of drawing, how many years it's going to take you, and uh, be able to make an educated decision. Once again, if you need some help, feel free to call us. Call Mike Hershey or myself, Rick Crawford, and we will be able to help you determine your best opportunity, the best units, the best trophy units, and um, be able to get you set up with a hunt. Thanks for watching and good luck in the draws.